Today is Holy Thursday, so we are going to read the story, The Bread and the Wine, the story of the Last Supper. Ben loved to play in his large house, a game of hide and seek. He had a special secret place where he alone could peek. A tiny closet, dark and snug, where jars and bowls were stored, was where he'd sit, his eyes shone bright through a crack in the closet door. One day he heard his mother say that guests would soon arrive. So up the stairs he rapidly raced and hid where he could spy. Two men walked in, their arms heaped high with basket, jars, and bowls. They set the table, then neatly placed bright pillows in two rows. A delicious smell filled the room of roasted lamb and bread. In walked Ben's mother with the food. We're ready to dine, they said. On the stairs, Ben heard footsteps. A crowd of friends came in. Around the table, each took his place. Ben counted 13 men. They started then to sing a song. The man in the center beamed, but one man wore a tight-lipped frown. Ben thought, he sure looks mean. The leader rose, he tucked his robe, poured water from a vase, and set the bowl upon the floor. A smile played on his face. Then like a servant, he dipped a towel and went down to his knees. That's Jesus, Ben started in surprise. I heard the people sing that day when he rode through the streets, Hosanna to the king. If he is king, he should not wash their feet. That's servant's work. Jesus explained, as I have done, each other you must serve. Then Jesus sat and prayed, Dear God, please bless this Passover meal. They feasted on the lamb and bread, began to eat their fill. Ben thought of the Passover, the very first. God's people, the Jews, each chose a lamb with wool so soft and white, the one they loved the most. They spread its blood upon their door so God would keep them safe and lead them from the land of Egypt where they had worked hard as slaves. Jesus was silent. Tears filled his eyes. Ben thought, he looks so sad. His friends whispered, what is wrong? Let's try to make him glad. They thought of the past and Peter said, remember that time at sea? I walked to meet you on the water, but sank up to my knees. Jesus smiled, a tender smile. You've learned a lot since then. They love Jesus so much, Ben thought. They really are good friends. Ben listened. Jesus softly spoke. My betrayer is here this night. Wonderingly, the 12 men stared at each, as each other asked, Lord, is it I? Beside Jesus sat one man. His eyes were wide with fear. Trembling, he whispered, Is it I? Ben strained hard to hear. A man named John leaned toward Jesus. Lord, who is it? He said. Jesus slowly turned and gave the frightened man his bread. Judas, go, then Jesus spoke, and do what you must do. With a scowling brow, Judas fled. Ben said, I'm glad he's gone. Jesus sighed a deep, long sigh. His face was very grave. He broke in half a loaf of bread and bowed his head and prayed. Take and eat. This is my body, given for your sins. Jesus passed the bread around to each one of his friends. Ben thought, the other day I tied a rock to my cat's tail. She spun around, jumped on the table, and crash, a clay pot fell. 
My mother said that it's a sin when I do what is bad. All the men seem so unhappy, for sin makes Jesus sad. Then Jesus took the cup of wine. Ben thought, what will he do? Jesus said, this is God's new covenant, sealed with my blood, shed for you. Do this to remember me. Drink this cup of mine. Ben watched as each man raised the cup and tasted the sweet wine. All the men joined in to sing a song in closing prayer. Their voices rang in highest praise that burst the still night air. Quietly, they left the room. Ben heard their footsteps echo on the stairs and through the streets as after him they followed. Ben sat alone. The room was dark, but he was not afraid. He still could see the gentle eyes, the smile on Jesus' face. Scooting from his hiding place, he felt so stiff and sore he quickly ran from the room and quietly shut the door. Just then he heard his mother's car call, Where are you, Benjamin? Running down the stairs he knew Jesus would be his friend.